I mean, the, there are a couple of ways that muscle knots are, like I said earlier, they are, can be adhesions where the muscles stick together. Any two muscles that rub, they'll kind of form a bond and they stick and then they don't move. Now, the body is quite fascinating. I think it's quite brilliant. The body will keep that in balance until the imbalance is treated. So sometimes you'll roll it and you'll feel it. Some may be lymphatic tissue where circulation is pretty poor and you'll feel the difference of so clotted blood, mucus. Um, if it stays long, sometimes you'll get um, bursas. And so on the body, there are many different types, but knowing which is which and how they move becomes, I suppose, the, the better question. The, they are, the body will produce them because you may decide to stand in one position inappropriately in one position and the you know like if you lean with one leg and so you're not standing balanced like this but one leg like this well the standing leg may produce them because it's a stabilizing leg the other one stays loose and fl um, flesh in this way so yeah there are different there are different types of the same thing that you're asking yeah mm -hmm. and to get them you then you have two categories if it's by blood where the blood is clotted under the skin you can't pick it it's harder to move. If it's where the energy is poor, where the circulation is not moving, you can warm it. And then we call that chi stagnation. So you can move that by heat. The blood one, you mostly use herbs or skin rubs or things to go through the pores to break down the blood stagnation.